Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of fractions, decimals, and percents. This is standard 6.4G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 29 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got Susie, and she is paying two-fifths the price of her movie ticket. Her parents pay their remaining portion. So what decimal is equivalent to the fraction of the price that she paid? All right, so we're not going to be tricky and try to find out how much her parents paid. We simply just need to turn what, what is two-fifths into a decimal. That's all we're asking here. But there is no... A, B, C, or D to choose from. We're going to have to figure it out on our own. So we've got two options. So let me show you the option that always works. You can always, always, always take your fraction and divide up. So when I say divide up, that means you're going to take your denominator, you're going to divide it up into the numerator. So flip it on its side. This will always get you a decimal. Always, always, always. So 5 goes into 2. It doesn't. So we need to make sure we're using the algorithm correctly. All right, we're doing all of this. We need to put a decimal within the dividend. Decimal up on the quotient bar. Now we can add as many zeros as we want to until we get to where we need to. 5 goes into 24 times. That's as far as we need to go. So that's going to be 20. So there we go. Two-fifths is equal to four-tenths. Now, sometimes, let me show you what sometimes works. And after a while, you can start to eyeball it because you just kind of get used to changing decimals into fractions and fractions into decimals and everything into a percent, okay? So if you can get the denominator into 10, 100, or 1,000, you're also good to go. Because, check this out, if I were to make a place value chart, what are the first three spots of the decimals, right? They are the tenths place, they are the hundredths place, and they are the thousandths place. So if I can get my denominator into tenths, hundredths, or thousandths, then we're good to go. So let's check out this two-fifths. Now this is where we just need our basic number sense to kind of see, can I multiply, I'm looking at my denominator now, to get into, start with the smallest, tenths. Yes, you can. If that didn't work, you would ask yourself, can I multiply by something to get into hundredths, right? Like we'll do that with fourths, right? Like three-fourths can't go into tenths. But if you multiply it by 25, you can get up to 100, and that's 75 hundredths. So here, yeah, just double it. So 5 times 2 makes 10, 2 times 2 makes 4. So look at this, 4 tenths. Four tenths. And that's why we want the denominator to be ten, hundred, or thousand because the this very first place right here is the tenths place. So those are the magic denominators: ten, hundred, or thousand. All right. So that's my answer: zero point four. But we need to bubble it in correctly. So here, let's look at our answer document. We're going to get a long, thin column with no bubbles underneath it. That's our decimal point. We get two digits to the right of the decimal. And we end up getting four digits to the left. I'm just going to squeeze them in here. And then we also get a positive, negative. We don't really need that at this point. So we're looking for 0 0.4. So we're just going to bubble in the four right there. You don't really need to bubble in any zeros on either side. That's your answer, four tenths.